I don't care about the German language, it's modular. I can paint the words from existing words just mm. Well, that's Eric Winter suggesting that um, the German language is modular and uh, by implication that the English language is not modular. Well, let's just see how modular the German and English languages really are. I'm going to start with um, two English sentences um, picked entirely at random. Um, the, uh, the first sentence is I have a hammer and uh, then the uh, the next one um, I hammer in the morning admittedly it's uh, it's not completely straightforward I mean uh, in the first sentence um, hammer is a noun and in the second sentence hammer is a verb uh, so it could be a little bit confusing Okay, let's try something a little bit, uh, a little bit more advanced. Let's take the second sentence and uh, let's change it a little bit. Um, let's turn it into a prediction. So I'm going to predict something uh, that will happen in the future. And to do that, I need the modal verb will. So I slot that in. Um, and it becomes, I will hammer in the morning. Actually, it's not completely straightforward because we've changed the verb hammer from a finite verb into an infinitive. Uh, so that's a rule that we have to bear in mind. Gosh, isn't English difficult? I just wonder though that uh, if we're going to make a prediction, sometimes predictions only come true under certain circumstances, certain conditions must be met. Um, so let's say that, um, um, yes, hammering in the morning is for me only possible um, if the condition is fulfilled that well, that I have a hammer. Uh, what we do is we use the word if. That's right, if. We just put if in front of the sentence. If I have a hammer, I will hammer in the morning. Of course, actually, I don't have a hammer. So this whole thing is completely hypothetical. And uh, so uh, what do we do to indicate that it's hypothetical? We put, we put the verbs into the past tense. Um, so the past tense of have is had, and the past tense of will is would. So that means that we change it to if I had a hammer, I would hammer in the morning. Okay, that was admittedly a little bit complicated, so let's see how the modular language, the logical modular language of German deals with the same thing. We'll go through the same steps. We'll start off with our two sentences. So the first sentence is, I have a hammer. So let's see, I have, the German is ich habe, uh, and hammer in German is ein Hammer. So we put it together and we get Ich habe ein Hammer. Uh, no, wait. That's not right. That doesn't sound right. Why? Ah, because ein Hammer is actually the nominative case. And as the object of a verb, we can't have a nominative. We need an accusative, the accusative case. That means that we need to change it to Ich habe einen Hammer. It's 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 bearing up. It's bearing up. It's 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 doing well compared to English, all the same. So let's not despair. Let's take the uh, let's take the second sentence. Um, okay, the verb to hammer is hemmern, and that becomes ich hemmere. And in the morning is vormittags. So let's see, ich hemmere vormittags. 
that sounds that sounds fine. Yep, yeah, that sounds fine. There we go. So we have our we have our modular setup here with just the one thing that we need to watch out for the accusative case. The next step was to turn the second sentence um, into a prediction. So let's uh, predict what's going to happen in the future. Now the equivalent um, of the uh, of the verb will in English to make a prediction in the future in German is werden. Um, and uh, the first person singular is um, ich werde, right? And uh, then, oh, we have to remember to change the uh, finite verb into an infinitive, so that becomes ich werde hemmern vormittags. Oh no, that doesn't work um, because the infinitive of a verb goes at the end of the sentence. Uh, so that means that now that werden is the finite verb, that stays where it is, so ich werde, but then we have to say vormittags first and then hemmern, because hemmern is an infinitive, so that goes at the end of the sentence. Follow me? So uh, uh, ich werde vormittags hemmern. Okay. Um, I hope you're following this because actually this is quite modular. Uh, it's quite simple really. Um, uh, much more logical than English. Right, now we want to turn the first sentence into a condition and the German for if is wenn. So we say wenn ich habe einen Hammer. Ah, uh, no we don't. No, we don't. We, we don't. Um, I forgot. Um, that's right, um, because it's now a subordinate clause, um, and the uh, the finite verb comes at the end of a subordinate clause. That means that now it says, wenn ich einen Hammer habe. Right. Okay. So that's that's quite that's 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 quite quite reasonable. I, I, I'm sure you agree uh, that that is uh, perfectly um, explicable and reasonable. Okay, so, uh, so, so let's not panic and uh, let's continue. Uh, now we just put the two sentences together um, and it becomes uh, Wenn ich einen Hammer habe, ich werde vormittags hämmern. No, it doesn't. It doesn't because now that we've put a subordinate clause in front of the main clause, the subordinate clause is now the first position in the sentence and the finite verb in the main clause must be the second position in the sentence. We've actually got to put werde in the second position, which means that we've got to swap the two words round um, and so uh, that means that we end up with wenn ich einen Hammer habe Werde ich vormittags hämmern. Right? Got that? Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm sure you'll agree though that it's still, it's all perfectly modular. Absolutely perfectly modular. There's no, no problem with it at all. Um, perfectly logical, perfectly modular. Mod, 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 modular. Okay? So, um, uh, so having done that, ah yes. Uh, so uh, what we do is we make it uh, we 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 make it hypothetical. Uh, that was it, hypothetical. Uh, so we put everything in the past tense, uh, just like it. No, we don't. No, no, not the past tense. No, uh, because that would be wrong. That's right. We've got to put it into the subjunctive mood, uh, which is a completely different set of verb forms altogether. And that means that it becomes wenn ich einen Hammer hätte, würde ich vormittags hämmern. I think. Eric Winter, you win. Um, uh, German is perfectly mod, mod per, per, per. German is perfectly modular, and I'm not going crazy learning this language at all. Uh, absolutely not. No, it's perfectly fine.